two things in this world that I long for the most. The first is the thrill of battle, the art of the blade. The second is elderly Poon. For the touch of an old woman is something unlike anything else in this mortal realm. The thrill of Gilf Poon being second only to the thrill I faced when I first defeated my sensei in hand-to-hand -hand combat. For I have now truly mastered the blade and acquired otherworldly skills. But it's still not enough. I still do not feel satisfied because I need a female who truly can navigate my prowess. I just circumcised the president. Alright, uh, I don't really know what that was, but here's the deal, alright? I'm a genius. I figured it out. I've figured out the solution to your problem, and mine as well. In my previous videos, I've talked about a Pew Research study that shows the demographics of single people. And this topic has been beaten to the ground. Most young men are single. Everybody knows that by now. But if you look into the data, you will find that young men aren't the only demographic of people who are widely single. They're followed up very closely by old women. Gilfs, shall I say. And that made me realize we're looking at it all wrong. As young men, our whole perception is messed up. We think we should go for these young, pretty girls. That's foolish. We have to adapt to the modern times. There's a much wider demographic of old women, just purely population-wise, but even more so when we look at their single rate. So as a young man, you really have to think, is pursuing all of these women my age a fool's errand? When there is such a bounty, a surplus of geriatric minge for you to pursue? Why don't you start off with these older ladies who are experienced, mind you, and can teach you all sorts of tips and tricks in the bedroom from antiquity? And uh, then you could work your way down to the younger ladies, and then by that time you'll have all this arcane knowledge, all these secret techniques from fucking these old bitches, that when you bring it down into Generation Z, when you hit them with that, it's going to be a whole new world for them. You'll hit them with that Great Depression. You'll hit them with that Dust Bowl, and they ain't going to know what to do. They'll be like, ah! And that's how you truly ascend. This is how we win. I would liken it to getting your first car. When you're 16 years old, you just got your license, and you're getting your very first car, do you want it to be a brand new, expensive sports car? No. You want something a little bit older, a little cheaper, reliable, maybe used with some miles on it. Then you could drive that around, go through that phase where you're a little reckless, get a couple little crashes, get comfortable on the road. Then you could move on to that brand new sports car that you want. This is my theory. And as a scientist, I have to test my theory. And I will use myself as the test subject. And I've already found some leads on sourcing some boomer puss. I just found this app called Cougar D. I just looked up Cougar dating app and this is what came up. Ain't no way they just gave me 20 coins for logging into this bitch. And would you looky here, I already have a match. Let's see what we got. I'm not upgrading to Cougar D plus, dude. 26, not quite what I'm looking for. Why, why are your pictures getting progressively more blurry? This bitch took this selfie on a Game Boy Color. If someone asked me to describe you in just two words, I'd say simply amazing. Let's suck my cock. <laughs> None of these people are real, by the way. This whole shit is a scam. Let's get freaky together, says Laura. This is clearly a fucking promotional shoot for a gym or something. Alright, well, Cougar D was a bust. So what I did is I had my old Bumble account, and I'm gonna turn the age filter. So let's say the cutoff is... Let's say the cutoff is 40. I'm looking for some, <laughs> looking for some fucking dust bunnies. Oh, baby. <laughs> I love old bitches. I can't get enough. I can't get enough old bitches. Yeah. All right. Well, that was fruitless. I didn't get a single match. Uh, no one in my age filter likes me. God damn it. Fuck. Do I ha not have any? Oh. Okay, I got one. I got one who's 35. I guess that's pa that's permissible. Um, sexy pics, baby. Okay, 
<laughs> Alright, there is one problem. This person's face looks suspiciously masculine. But, you know, you have to roll the dice sometimes. Regrettably, I was not able to pull any old broads, so I had to rely on the old faithful scamming these bitches. So I found this rugged older male model, called the account David, made him a pilot. This is what he looks like, loves to cook, loves to travel. Here we go, baby. And this shit worked. These dust bunnies took the bait. This man got over 500 plus likes. He killed it. He he did better than that one woman I used. It's crazy. David's just pulling all sorts of Betsy's and Gertrude's and Brandy's and Deborah's. So what I could do is use David as a conduit to test my riz on these gilfs. Um, because I couldn't even get my foot in the door, apparently. He, he has a more masculine look. I'm a little bit more, um, maybe I, my look probably appeals more to younger gals, I guess. Hi, David. How are you? Hello, Tara. I'm great. How about you? I'm doing great. Just got home from... It was wonderful. What are you doing this weekend? I'm trying to get my booty licked. All right. Hi, how are you? I'm good, Jaina. How about you? I'm really well. Thank you. Just hanging out at home at the moment. What are you up to? <laughs> Hi David, very nice pics. How's your weekend starting off? Man, I'm just thinking about 9-11 getting sad. And my dick hurt. Dang man, a lot of these women are mothers. It's, it kind of makes me sad. Imagine you're scrolling on this shit and you see your mom. Alright, she said hello. Hey shoddy. Hey shoddy. What's going on? I'm just trying to lick that ass. Hey, shawty. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> I'm just trying to lick that ass, you know what I'm saying? This isn't funny. <laughs> oh, God. I'm just harassing old women. What's on the agenda today? What's up, mommy? I'm trying to see some of that beef. Hey, hello, Kathleen. How are you? I'm doing well. What are your weekend plans? Tell me your story. Tell me about you. <laughs> All right, shawty. <laughs> I'm going to tell you like this. I'm just trying to fuck I'm just trying to teach you right girl Trying to get them toes up in my mouth Just trying to show you a good time Show you that new deliciousness Yeah, yeah Alright David, hope today has been wonderful for you You mentioned you love to travel What has been your favorite adventure so far? I got my booty taken by four men in the Dominican Republic Put it in my ass. 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 All right, well, I've been doing this for long enough. The sheer amount of these elderly broads on these dating apps is pretty alarming. There's a lot of them. They were pretty much all divorced. Or hopefully they were divorced if they were on that shit. It's pretty sad, honestly. At the core of it, it's pretty sad. And unfortunately, it seems like I may have come to a wall in my research. Because while these older women are largely single, similar to young men, they don't seem to be interested. Unless maybe the young man is very attractive or whatever, but at that point, he probably has a bunch of options around his age, which he would much rather go to. All these relationships, you think you love someone, it ends. You find another one, you think you love him more. You get married, you have kids, you live together, you join in union, and then it ends. It seems very rarely that it's, uh, that it's built to last nowadays. It gets me scared for the future, because I know I don't want to go at it alone, but do I get married young, like these trad cons say, and then face getting divorced ten years later? Do I work hard and stay on my grind through my 20s and some of my 30s? buying cars and networking so that by the time I'm in my prime I could find some generation alpha 20 year old bride completely raised by the internet who there's barely even gonna be any of by the way because no one's been having kids in the last five years so when young guys like me reach their prime when they're 35 there's not gonna be any young women there's barely gonna be any 
it's just going to be a worse demographic and dating market than we already have. Well, where now there's two single men for every single woman. Wait until you're 35 and you're all chasing the same small pool of young girls. It's going to be like six to one. Do I simply cut off my worm and change teams? Do I wait for the latest generation robot to come out? with ultra suction that can drain my balls from every last drop of nut? Do I simply dismiss the idea of nutting altogether and go on semen retention for the rest of my days, gaining psychic powers and otherworldly strength? I don't know. I honestly couldn't tell you. Anyways, like, comment, subscribe, share. What, what is that? It is a tan down. And what does it do? You put that around his pee pee. And once he hits you like that. <laughs>